Thanks, Mike. Now we'll be talking about a rolling method. And the rolling method that I will talk here is using transient logical standby database to do our upgrade. So what is that? With this rolling method, we use a logical standby database to upgrade in a very little downtime. Actually, it's so little downtime, that's only the time it takes to do the switchover from the primary database to the logical standby database. And during this switchover is when uh, the connection, the client connections are dropped from the primary and then connect on the other database. So that's the only downtime we have using this method. But before talking about this method and talking about logical standby database, let's compare what is logical standby database with physical standby database. So physical standby database is what most of the customers use to protect their primary. They are a Z copy of the primary database and it happens through redo apply process, which take the redo log files and apply them on the physical standby database. So the redo apply process applies the redo log files on the data file layer, uh, and we have this as a Z copy of our primary database. While with the logical standby database, we have the SQL apply process, which reads those redo files and convert them into SQL statement. So the redo log files, which are uh, redo uh, block vector changes, they are converted into insert, update, and delete statements, which are executed on our target database. Okay, so let's see how uh, this transient logical standby process works. So first we have a scenario with our primary database and our physical standby database. So this again is a very common scenario. We have a lot of customers using this to protect their primary database. And we have our users connect on the primary database, okay? So first thing we do is we create a GRP, a guarantee restore point in our primary database. And this step is very important. Don't forget it. So to do the transient logical standby upgrade, we first create this GRP here in our primary database. Next, we build the log miner directory. And this is a very fast command, it takes usually about 15 seconds. And this will prepare our environment to have a logical standby database. Next, we convert the physical standby database into a logical standby database. And in this step, it's very important to keep this keep identity clause, because this will ensure that our logical standby database has the same DBID as the primary. So right now, after we do this conversion, the scenario we have is our primary database shipping redo logs to the, to the logical standby database, and the SQL apply process in the logical standby database is reading those redo log files and converting them into SQL statement, as you can see here. Okay, so as our target database, our logical standby database is opened in read write mode to allow those SQL statements to execute, it will start generating some redo log files for it all. Okay. The next step we have here is running out upgrade. So out upgrade will upgrade our logical standby database into a new release in this example into a 19C release. So out upgrade will start the database in a new Oracle home and we will upgrade it. And all that process will also be creating new read log files as you can see here, okay. Now that we have uh, the, the logical standby database upgrade to 19C, we have what we call mixed Oracle version with data guard redo transport services. So we have our primary database shipping to the logical standby database. And next, what we do is we perform a switch over here. So now is what I said, that's the only downtime we have during this process. The client connections that were connecting on the primary database will now connect on the new primary database, which is our 19C database. Now that we have our customers already uh, connecting on this 19C database, what we do is we flash back our primary database back to that GRP that we created. Okay, so we, GR, we go back with this database to the GRP and we convert it to a physical standby. So now that we convert it to a physical standby, we need to apply all the redo log files generated by the logical standby database that's now our primary since it was opened in read write mode. So all those brown uh, squares you see in the bottle, 
they need to be shipped and applied on the primary that's now our physical standby database, okay? But before doing that, we need to start up this database in 19C version. And finally, we have the redo apply process moving now from the logical standby database, which is our 19C, and which is actually now our primary database, to our former primary database. And now this step is optional. We can do a switchback to have our primary database running again in the original environment if we want. <clears throat> 